Hello, my name is Mike Morris, and I had the pleasure of being involved in the Phoenix development process. I've been at Baroque Tool nearly 30 years, and had worked with the idea of pressure expansion for about eight years. As with any new process, there are a lot of questions, and one of the first questions that comes to everyone's mind is, is it safe? Well, safety is our number one priority here at Baroque Tool. We take all the necessary steps to ensure the well-being of everyone who is near our machines, including our new Phoenix pressure expander. At the beginning design stages of the Phoenix, safety was always at the front of our minds. Ensuring safe operation of the Phoenix continued throughout the design, assembly, and validation stages of the production. We have made certain that every element of the Phoenix is safe and reliable for operation. We spent thousands of man hours testing the Phoenix under normal operating conditions. Our burst rate is less than one failed tube per 100 coils. The most common failure cause is a weak tube. My name is Alex and I've worked on the pressure expander for three years. I've been one of the main design leads for the mechanical and also some control side. We have designed the Phoenix to use three levels of redundant safety features to keep the coil from overpressurizing. The first is to use devices that are rated for pressure higher than the maximum pressure available in the system. The second level of safety are limits inside the software and the PLC and safety controller. The third level of safety is a relief valve in each pressure manifold, so if there is an overrun condition, the relief valve will exhaust any pressure above the set level. In all coil failure scenarios, the coil fails due to substandard tube. The tube fails at a much lower than operating pressure, thereby minimizing the noise in the environment. When a tubing failure occurs, the goal is to relieve the compressed air into the atmosphere as quickly as possible. This is achieved by minimizing the structure to contain the coil. We have the proper balance between rigid structure and structure that allows compressed air to escape in a burst tube. The minimum containment structure enables the compressed air to take the least restrictive path through the atmosphere, which leads to multiple benefits. The bursts are lower decibels. Phoenix coils burst at 115 decibels with a 7 mm coil, while a standard air hose burst is around 85 decibels. Hearing protection is required for an extra level of safety. The amount of force on the tubing is diminished quickly as the air escapes via the path of least resistance. This diminished force reduces the possibility of harming tooling, machines, and of course operators. The Phoenix Pressure Expander was designed with two levels of physical guarding. The purpose of the inner guarding is to contain any small fin debris from a coil failure. The purpose of the outer guarding is to prevent the operator from interfering with any moving parts that may cause bodily harm. I am confident that the Phoenix Pressure Expander is one of the safest machines that you will have on your operations floor. From the beginning design to the triple redundant safety mechanisms to the hours of testing, the Phoenix will keep your operator safe when two failures occur. Two failures occur, but we have a solution for that with the Phoenix.